In today's video, I want to show you my new electric scooter and tell you guys why it might be the best electric scooter for college. As much as I love walking to class and enjoying the day, sometimes I need a mode of transportation to get around. I have like 15 minutes to get to that class that's like two miles away, and last semester I was using that bike right there. The problem with the bike is that even though it's really small and foldable, it was really hard to like fold and then like disfold and put it back up together. It's really rusty, the seat falls off sometimes, and it was just not a good ride overall. I decided I needed an upgrade, so I decided to get this electric scooter right here, the Mac Wheel. All right, but let me tell you guys what I think about it. All right, let's actually review this thing. Honestly, it's not even that sunny out right now. This right here is the Macquio electric scooter, which you can buy on Amazon for $360. Oh, what a fail. Fail. It has a 350 watt motor. It lasts all the way up to 18.5 miles. And the fastest it could go is 16 miles an hour, which is pretty fast, especially on your way to class. It folds really easily. You're able to prop it up without an issue. It's just really convenient to have that portability, which is why I recommend it, especially if you're a college student. My plan for this is that I'm gonna use it throughout the day to get around campus, but then at night, I'm gonna fold it up and just leave it in my trunk. Now online, I was trying to find if this thing was waterproof. And honestly, there weren't too many results. I think it might be weather resistant, which means that if it rains, you'll be fine the next day when it dries up. But I don't recommend riding this thing in the rain or even if it's like really wet because at the end of the day, it's an electric scooter. You might like you know, run into something and bust your ass. Something else I really like about this scooter is that it has three different speed presets, which means you stay within a speed limit, which is really good, especially if you're new to riding these type of things. It also has a built-in light to ride at night, even though in Miami, I really won't be doing that because drivers are really crazy. And one of my favorite small features that they added onto this electric scooter is that it actually has a bell built into it. That way, when you're going through people, you could just ring it and everybody could hear you. Now, even though everything I said about this scooter is really good, there's actually three things that I just don't like about it. The first one is that in my opinion, the brake is way too sensitive. If you're riding and you just touch it like a little bit, it will break immediately and it kind of feels like you're gonna flip over. Eventually, you do get used to it, but if it's your first time riding this thing, you gotta be really careful and not just like, you know, hit it immediately because it's kind of scary. The second thing that I don't like is that it is $360 and honestly, as a college student, anytime you spend money it really sucks but there definitely are cheaper options out there sure $360 might not sound that bad but I don't know how much bang for your buck you actually get out of this thing I haven't tried out any cheaper options but just know that if you're on a low budget cheaper options are available and they might do the same exact thing that this thing does now the last thing isn't really a complaint it's more of a concern living in Miami there is a lot of humidity it does rain so I just wonder how durable this thing ends up being the bike that I had only lasts about six months it it is insanely rusty. I wonder if this thing also rusts up. I wonder if the electronics in this can actually, you know, withstand the Miami weather. But now that I went really in depth about the scooter, let me teach you guys how to ride it. The first thing you're gonna do is turn this thing on by holding the power button right here in the middle. Right now it is set to speed number one, which is the slowest one and the one I recommend if you're just learning how to ride. If you hit it one time, it will go through the different speed settings. Right now, we are gonna go to speed at three, which is the fastest one that could take you 16 miles an hour. If you double tap the power button, it will turn on the flashlight in the front, which is really useful for riding at night. On your right, you're gonna have your throttle, which when you press down on, it will accelerate this thing. On your left, you're gonna have your brake, which you hold down on, and then right next to it, you're gonna have that bell that I mentioned earlier. Now to get started riding this thing, all you're gonna do is remove the little safety thing that goes on the floor. You're gonna get on it, you're gonna push and hold the throttle at the same time and you're just gonna like take off, so like this.
So honestly, this thing is like not that hard to ride. I don't know how much I'm getting recorded on right now because I'm on the GoPro going over some bumps, but honestly, it is a pretty smooth ride. Really easy to use. I've never ridden an electric scooter before I got this one. So yeah, simple. I decided to leave it in mode two and I'm going like 10 miles an hour because honestly, I'm just too scared to like fall on this thing. I'm like crack my head open. All right, so I'm trying to make it go really fast right now all the way to 16 and I don't really like it. It's going too fast. I'm gonna slow it down a bit. In terms of balance, I feel fine. I don't feel like I'm falling off anytime soon even though I think I will for some reason. Really easy to use, honestly, great ride overall. Still though, when you're riding this thing, whether it's during the day or at night, you still wanna be really, really careful. And even though I'm not wearing a helmet, I really do advise it. I know I sounded like a dad there for a second, but it's true, you wanna avoid head injuries. All right, guys, that is pretty much it for me. If you guys are considering this scooter, remember, I will leave the Amazon link down below in my description. If you guys enjoyed this video, remember to give it a thumbs up down below and subscribe to my channel to stay up to date with my weekly uploads. That is pretty much it for me, but always remember to stay hydrated.